हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर प्रशांत कुमार एंड यू आर वाचिंग क्रिटिकल केयर व आर्टिकल्स हाउ डू यू नो वेदर इट इज टाइम टू स्लीप और वेक अप नो आई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट योर अलार्म क्लॉक इट इज द इंटरनल बायोलॉजिकल क्लॉक इन द बॉडी व्हिच इज नोन एज सर्कैडियन रिदम मोस्ट ऑफ आवर बॉडीली फंक्शंस आर सिंक्रोनाइज टू द नेचुरल लाइट दैट इज नोन एज सर्कैडियन रिदम्स सर्कैडियन इज ए Latin word, which means melatonin, is a molecule present in almost all creatures. Over several billions of trillions of years of evolution, this molecule has served as a defense against toxic free radical damage. Melatonin is the chemical expression of darkness in vertebrates. Darkness perceived by retina sends signals to suprachiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus, which leads to synthesis and release of melatonin in the pineal glands. day light is able to suppress and synchronize melatonin production daily melatonin secretion which is a very robust biochemical signal of night regulates the circadian rhythms in humans melatonin controls sleep wake rhythms today we are going to discuss the role of melatonin and melatonin agonist in the icu patients when there is disturbance in the internal master clock and the daily routine it can lead to disturbance in the sleep be it your daily routine or illness leading to icu admission clinical studies show that melatonin is reduced in critical illness particularly on mechanical ventilation the effect is pronounced in the patients with sepsis melatonin and melatonin receptor agonists in sleep and delirium in the icu patients recently we have seen several clinical studies trials and reviews on melatonin and melatonin receptor as agonists in sleep and delirium in the intensive care unit patients this analytical review was published in the journal of intensive care medicine in 2016 and it emphasized the role of these melatonin and melatonin receptor agonists in the icu patients delirium is the most common neuropsychiatric syndrome found in the acute care setting with a prevalence ranging from 10% in general medicine to 85% in advanced cancer and critical care each episode of delirium leads to impaired physical and cognitive recovery increased health care cost and even increased mortality despite of this there is no us fda approved medication for prevention of delirium recently numerous studies and case reports suggest that ramaltion which was fda approved in 2004-5 for the treatment of insomnia may help prevent delirium in the icu patients this is widely accepted pad guideline in 2013 pain agitation and delirium clinical practice guideline recommended promoting sleep in the icu patients using non pharmacological interventions such as reduction in the light noise and care activities during night time to decrease patient's physiological stress level but make no recommendation regarding the use of pharmacologic agent for sleep promotion what is the neuropathogenesis of delirium some of the neurotransmitters like acetylcholine melatonin are deficient in patients with delirium dopamine norepinephrine and glutamate are believed to be in excess and there is variable expression of 5 ht histamine and gaba delirium prevention strategies mainly non pharmacological prevention strategies are practiced environmental manipulations such as noise and light reduction in night promoting better sleep early mobilization techniques adequate assessment and avoidance of pain pharmacological prevention strategies it is recommended that better sedation choices like alpha 2 agonist agents the use of dexmedetomidine instead of conventional gaba agents for example propofol and midazolam dopamine antagonist agent both typical and second generation antipsychotics risperidone quetiapine olanzapine are commonly used in the icu the sga the second generation antipsychotics are commonly used in icu patients for the treatment of delirium acetylcholine esterase inhibitors 
such as reverse stigmin was associated with a significantly lower incidence of delirium compared with the control among patients with dementia. What are the biological effects of melatonin? It is widely believed that melatonin has the following functions. It has a role in circadian rhythm, sleep regulation, antioxidant activities, antimicrobial properties, inhibition of neoplastic growth, immune regulation, and neuroprotection. Melatonin secretion in critical illness. There is sufficient evidence that during critical illness, there is abnormal release of melatonin and its plasma concentration. Its urinary metabolites are also altered. Disturbed sleep patterns in the ICU. In the ICU patients, the sleep quality and quantity both is disturbed. There is increased latency, frequent arousals, reduced total sleep time, increased fragmentation, higher proportion of stage 1 sleep or light sleep, and reduced rapid eye movement. Problems with benzos and opioids. The commonly used benzos and opioids for sedation and as a hypnotic reduces the REM sleep, increases the chances of delirium. Pharmacology of melatonin and melatonin receptor agonists. Melatonin is a hormone secreted by the pineal gland in times of darkness. In the periods of light, suprachiasmatic nucleus suppress melatonin secretion. It was first identified in 1950s. Melatonin is not stored in the body. It is synthesized and released in real time. Melatonin works on the melatonin receptors. MT1 induces sleep and MT2 regulates the circadian rhythm. Sleep deprivation may be one of the major contributors in the development of delirium in ICU patients. Delirium, a disturbance of circadian integrity. This was published in Med Medical Hypothesis Journal in 2013. Melatonin or Melatonin Receptor Agonists Let us consider a case. A 71-year-old man diagnosed with a small left frontal subcortical hemorrhage was being managed in the neuro ICU. He remained very agitated, pulling down on catheter, IV lines, sometimes came out of the bed at the night time. Restlessness and agitation could not be implicated to any known physical or environmental stress. Ramaltion 8 mg was given per orally every night at 10 pm. Over the next week, his sleep was better and delirium and agitation was reduced. Treating team was satisfied with the effect of the drug. Studies on the exogenous melatonin in the ICU patients. There are several studies on exogenous melatonin in the ICU patients. These few ones have a recommendation of a dose of 3 mg oral or IV and mainly the results are as follows. Melatonin is able to induce better sleep. No major side effects were observed. Median duration of nocturnal sleep is almost the same. Drastic reduction in the incidence of agitation and delirium. 31% versus 7%. So there is a drastic reduction in the incidence of delirium and particularly with the advantage that these melatonin and melatonin receptor agonists have no major adverse effects or side effects. This is very significant and highly uh, recommended. Melatonin receptor agonists. At least four melatonin receptor agonists are available in the market. Agomelatin, Circadin, Rameltion, and Tessimeltion. Rameltion is the only one that has been studied in the ICU setting. Dose and preparation. Rameltion is a selective MT1 receptor agonist. Rameltion is 1000 times more selective on MT1 receptors than MT2 receptors. Rameltion is available by several Indian pharmaceutical companies in the strength of 8 mg tablets for oral administration. In adults, 8 mg to 32 mg dose can be administered. Most usual dose is 8 mg. Particularly the property of this uh, medication is that every individual is different and the effect of melatonin and melatonin receptor agonist may be different on different individuals. So there should be a dose titration and to find out the possible best dose for a particular patient in a particular circumstances should be sought and should be used. 
इट अंडरगोज एक्सटेंसिव फर्स्ट पास मेटाबोलिज्म हैज शॉर्ट हाफ लाइफ ऑफ लेस देन टू आवर्स इट कैन बी एडमिनिस्टर्ड विथ और विदाउट फूड नो डोज एडजस्टमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन आइदर हेपेटिक और रेनल इम्पेयरमेंट सिंस द ड्रग लेवल्स रिमेन विद इन द इंटर इंडिविजुअल डिफरेंस नो एडवर्स इफेक्ट ऑन अलर्टनेस मेमोरी और कंसेंट्रेशन नो डिस्ट्रैक्टिंग ड्रग इंट्रैक्शन क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स ऑफ मेलेटोन रिसेप्टर एगोनिस रेमेल्टियन इन स्लीप एंड डेलीरियम इन आई सी यू पेशेंट्स दिस स्टडी वॉज पब्लिश इन जामा साइकेट्री बाई हाटा एटल प्रिवेंटिव एफेक्ट्स ऑफ रेमेल्टियन ऑन डेलीरियम ए रेंडमाइज प्लेसिबो कंट्रोल ट्रायल and they concluded that ramelton was associated with lower risk of delirium acute brain failure this was published in the previous issue of critical care clinics and for the first time it was included in both prevention and treatment so in the pharmacologic prevention strategies section they mention as melatonin or melatonin agonist melatonin 3 mg every night or melatonin agonist 8 mg every night to help promote a more natural sleep and prevention of all types of delirium and in the management of delirium section if possible avoid the gaba adrenergic agents to control agitation melatonin for example 6 mg every night or melatonin agonist 8 mg every night to help promote a more natural sleep so in the prevention of delirium section they have mentioned melatonin dose of 3 mg every night and ramelton dose 8 mg same dose and in the management of delirium section the melatonin dose is 6 mg every night and melatonin agonist ramelton 8 mg every night to help promote a more natural sleep and management of all types of delirium other poor options not so effective benzodiazepines and benzodiazepine hypnotic sedating antipsychotics antidepressants many of these drugs disrupt the normal sleep architecture benzodiazepine administration in the icu patients may contribute to the development of delirium so in nutshell the message is that we have few drugs with us to either prevent or treat delirium but the effect of these drugs are not satisfactory melatonin is supposed to be more physiological for inducing sleep and delirium is a state of disturbed circadian rhythm in icu patients there are so many circumstances when the patient have poor quality of sleep they are agitated we can give melatonin and melatonin receptor agonist to these patients and reap the benefits thank you very much